Catholicism, the Bible, Psalms. Blessed is the one who does not go where the wicked gather, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit where the scoffers sit. Instead, he finds delight in the law of the Lord, and meditates day and night on his commandments. His evil intent recoils upon his head, his wicked design comes back in his face. Those who walk blamelessly and do what is right, who speak truth from their hearts and control their words, who do no harm to their neighbors and cast no discredit on their companions, who do not lend money at interest and refuse a bribe against the innocent, do this, and you will soon be shaken. With the faithful, you are faithful. With the blameless, you are blameless. Who will ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who will stand in his holy place? Those with clean hands and pure heart. Who desire not what is vain, and never swear to a lie. They will receive blessings from the Lord, a reward from God, their Savior. Proverbs Let loyalty and kindness never leave you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, that you may find favor and a good name in the eyes of God and people. The mouth of the righteous is a source of life, but violence is concealed in the mouths of evildoers. Hatred enkindles disputes. Love covers over all offenses. A generous man does himself a favor, while a cruel man wounds his own flesh. The one who speaks thoughtlessly pierces like a sword, but the words of the wise bring healing. Upright living is fear of Yahweh, but he who is devious in his ways scorns him. Sirach. He who gives glory to his mother prepares a treasure for himself. Whoever honors his father will receive joy from his own children and will be heard when he prays. Ezekiel. I do not want the wicked to die, but rather that they turn from their ways and live. Matthew Fortunate are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Fortunate are the gentle, they shall possess the land. Fortunate are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. Fortunate are the merciful, for they shall find mercy. Fortunate are those with a pure heart, for they shall see God. Fortunate are those who work for peace. They shall be called children of God. Fortunate are those who are persecuted for the cause of justice, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
your Father in heaven makes his sun rise on both the wicked and the good, and he gives rain to both the just and the unjust. If you love those who love you, what is special about that? Do not even tax collectors do as much. Store up treasure for yourself with God, where no moth or rust can destroy it, nor thief come and steal it. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. In the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and the measure you use for others will be used for you. Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye and not see the plank in your own eye? Take first the plank out of your own eye. Then you will see clearly enough to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my heavenly Father. So then, anyone who hears these words of mine and acts accordingly is like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain poured, the rivers flooded, and the wind blew and struck the house, but it did not collapse because it was built on rock. But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not act accordingly is like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain poured, the rivers flooded, and the wind blew and struck that house. It collapsed, and what a terrible fall that was. You received this as a gift, so give it as a gift. You must be clever as snakes and innocent as doves. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but have no power to kill the soul. Rather be afraid of him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest. What will one gain by winning the whole world if he destroys his soul? If on earth two of you are united in asking for anything, it will be granted to you by my heavenly Father. Come, blessed of my Father, take possession of the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to see me. Whenever you did this, To these little ones who are my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. Luke, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. If you have faith, even the size of a mustard seed, you may say to this tree, be uprooted and plant yourself in the sea, and it will obey you. When you have done all that you have been told to do, you should say, we are no more than servants, we have only done our duty. John 
God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. For the scripture says, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now I give you a new commandment. Love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also must love one another. If you remain in me, and my words in you, you may ask whatever you want, and it will be given to you. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and remain in his love. There is no greater love than this, to give one's life for one's friends. Romans Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not wish evil on anyone. Rejoice with those who are joyful, and weep with those who weep. Do not return evil for evil, but let everyone see your good will. Do your best to live in peace with everybody. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him to drink. By doing this, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not let evil defeat you, but conquer evil with goodness. 1 Corinthians Let the one who boasts boast of the Lord. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you. Knowledge puffs up while love builds. If I could speak all the human and angelic tongues but had no love, I would only be sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, knowing secret things with all kinds of knowledge, and had faith great enough to remove mountains, but had no love, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I had to the poor, and even give up my body to be burned, if I am without love, it would be of no value to me. Love is patient, kind, without envy. It is not boastful or arrogant. It is not ill-mannered, nor does it seek its own interest. Love overcomes anger and forgets offenses. It does not take delight in wrong, but rejoices in truth. Love excuses everything, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love will never end. Prophecies may cease, tongues be silent, and knowledge disappear. Now we have faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. 2 Corinthians Remember, the one who sows meagerly will reap meagerly and there shall be generous harvests for the one who sows generously. Galatians I am speaking of that freedom which makes you slaves of one another through love. For the whole law is summed up in this sentence, You shall love your neighbor 
as yourself. Ephesians Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let your anger last until the end of the day, lest you give the devil a foothold. Stand your ground. Take truth as your belt, justice as your breastplate, and zeal as your shoes to propagate the gospel of peace. Philippians Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice, and may everyone experience your gentle and understanding heart. Do not be anxious about anything. In everything resort to prayer and supplication, together with thanksgiving, and bring your requests before God. Then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Fill your minds of whatever is truthful, holy, just, pure, lovely, and noble. Be mindful of whatever deserves praise and admiration. Colossians Clothe yourselves, then, as is fitting for God's chosen people, holy and beloved of Him. Put on compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Hebrews Do not depend on money. Be content with having enough for today. 1 Peter Do not be taken up with outward appearances, hairstyles, gold necklaces, and clothes. There is something more permanent that shines from within a person, a gentle and peaceful disposition. This is really precious in God's eyes. Above all, let your love for one another be sincere, for love covers a multitude of sins. Welcome one another into your houses without complaining. Serve one another with the gifts each of you received, thus becoming good managers of the varied graces of God. 1 John If we confess our sins, He who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all wickedness. For everything in the world, the craving of the flesh, the greed of eyes, and people boasting of their superiority, all this belongs to the world, not to the Father. The world passes away with all its craving, but those who do the will of God remain forever. Let us love not only with words and with our lips, but in truth and in deed. If you say, I love God, while you hate your brother or sister, you are a liar. How can you love God, whom you do not see, if you do not love your brother, whom you see? 